Today the moon is in Scorpio, so we're taking a little bit of a deeper dive into the emotional territory of Scorpio that helps us look at what is beneath the surface. I'm Marina Orms here with your Astro Vibe for Saturday, September 7th, and with today's Scorpio moon, we are continuing this Virgo moon cycle. So the theme for this moon cycle is improvement, perfecting what is already perfect, learning, growing, looking at the details, helping things work better. And as we do that with today's Scorpio moon, we have a vibe of tapping into some deeper emotional processes. So this is the sign, the moon sign, that can bring us to a place of really getting to the root of something, really understanding at deeper levels what is moving inside of us. And, uh, you know, of course, that's if we're paying attention. So, um, so when we're kind of unconscious, that Scorpio energy can hit us from out of the blue. It can be a little bit... Um, uh, hard to confront if we're not uh, taking care of ourselves. And so what we need when the moon is in Scorpio is we need that safe and sacred space for ourself to move through the processes that we are going through that are either unconscious, they might be unconscious, they might be coming to consciousness, they could be hidden. They could be hard to put into words. They could be very sacred, right? It can be this very, um, what's the word? Um, magical, but also a mysterious, a mysterious process. So something that is moving inside of you that you don't necessarily understand logically, <laughs> but is the way that energy moves and is the way that healing happens when we are willing to support ourselves in these deeper uh, inner processes. So there's that mysterious transformation happening. And if you can recognize and honor that for yourself, things will move and they might, it might not be easy stuff to look at, right? It takes us into the deeper patterns, the deeper place where those patterns come from emotionally. So it can um, be, there can be sometimes a need to work through some old traumas. Um, but being with yourself, taking care of yourself, taking space for yourself, supporting yourself in the allowing these inner processes to have the space they need to honor them so they can move through. And that might happen in your dreams, right? It might happen while you're sleeping. It might happen um, while you're spacing out and going for a walk. So, so it's these... Um, it's when we try to distract ourselves from really giving ourselves the time we need that we run into more trouble. So, so especially with the Scorpio moon, there's a need for um, taking that time and that space for ourselves to allow this process to unfold just the way a caterpillar goes into a cocoon and does its transformation mysteriously inside the cocoon and then emerges as a butterfly or the way that a seed germinates, right? And, and begins to unfurl underneath the soil before we even see the sprout emerging into the light of day. So, so what is the under the soil work that you are doing so that ultimately... Um, something can emerge into tangible form uh, going forward. So there's some emotions, maybe some energy moving, some need for that depth and honoring this deeper process. It might be showing up in your relationships. And we've been talking about relationships this week with uh, the moon in Libra. And uh, so it, you could be going into a deeper place with some of those relationship processes, or it could be more personal. 
um, but focusing on taking care of yourself and honoring this um, this mysterious process that may be unfolding inside of you that is related to the work of what you are learning, how you are growing, how you are stepping more into yourself. And uh, all week I've had some great videos on how we can be thinking about this Virgo moon cycle and the uh, improvement, the self-improvement, how we can recognize ourselves as already perfect, but also uh, continuing to learn and grow in this incredible life journey we are on. So lots of great tips throughout this week. If you missed any of those videos, you may want to go back and check them out um, because it's kind of a good time to attend to um, some of this process of uh, being uh, it, of service to yourself, right? Showing up for yourself and honoring yourself in your self-improvement. And ultimately, this is how you are manifesting your higher purpose is uh, by being willing to roll up your sleeves, get in the dirt, be honest with yourself and learn what you have to learn. Um, it will take you to great places. So Thank you so much for being here. I'm Marina Orms. You can learn more about me at astrologyheals.com. And thanks for being here. Thank you for subscribing and for all your wonderful likes and comments. I will see you next time with more astrology for unshakable self-care. Bye for now.